Hey everybody, this is Tom Sorcy talking about another Storm and Roto Grip bowling ball. Today we are talking about the Roto Grip Winter Solid. Let's just get right into it. Uh, Winter Solid cover stock VTC S18 and the altered hot shot core. The hot shot core was from the show off. As far as I can gather, the difference is the piece on the bottom that they altered it for the winner and the winner pearl. Same core in both of those balls. RG numbers 254054. Let's take a look at mine. Five and three quarter inch pin to PAP layout. I wanted to do something a little bit weaker up above the fingers. And let's just get right into it and check it out. What I was hoping for when I drilled this ball was something that would be sitting in the medium friction, medium response time range. And that's because I wanted to find something that I could use as my second ball in a tournament that was still a solid. There's a lot of like hybrids that we have that are really good in that spot. But the only other real solid that I use a lot after the early parts of the, the blocks is an IQ Tour, and that can be a little too weak sometimes. So I wanted to try to find something that could be my second option in tournaments. And after throwing the winner solid here, I think I found something to fit in that spot that I've been trying to fill so desperately. We see something that is not too strong, even as a solid, uh, but also not too slow. Uh, that still has a little bit of kick at the end of the pattern. Can be used with, you know, medium open angles. Uh, doesn't have to be used with closed angles. And so, I'm really excited about being able to slot this in and, and fill a hole that I felt like I had. The ball that I wanted to compare it to is the Roto Grip Idol for a couple of reasons. I don't have a video for the Idol itself, but the Idol has been a fantastic ball both for me personally. And also, as you can tell from watching the shows, for the guys on the PBA Tour. So I really wanted to make sure that I could compare it. And what I had expected to see was the idle to be stronger, create more friction, and also be slower response. And as you can tell from the shots that you're looking at right now, that's exactly what we saw. Uh, the idle overall creates more friction, but also it was smoother off of the end of the pattern. The big thing is that one-to-one -one, it certainly is a stronger ball and you can see here i tried to move in a little bit and throw some strikes with it so that you could see when it's matched up how smooth it actually looks in comparison to the winter salad the idol has been an amazing ball for me i use it literally all the time at so many tournaments and everyone around here at least does as well and it's something that i think is important to have in a lot of arsenals we we now have with these two balls two solid symmetrical balls that can be used off of one another very well. We have a lot of balls uh, that are asymmetrical, and we have a lot of balls that are hybrid that have been coming out, or Pearl, recently. And it's been exciting to have these two options in my bag when I need something that's symmetrical based on what I'm seeing on the lanes. So let's take a look at them side by side. You'll be able to see they're going to be pretty close here, but you'll be able to see when you really look at that smoother motion coming off of the end of the pattern there. And that winner just a little bit more really wants to make a little quicker move toward the pins. And that is very exciting to me as an option to have that's stronger than an IQ Tour, that creates more friction than an IQ Tour, that is solid, that is symmetrical, but that isn't so slow that I have to keep my angles in front of me and that when I have to transition and move left in and open it up a little bit that it's still going to be a factor. So going back over it here, winter solid, medium friction created, medium response time, really filling in that spot in our line that can really open up some options for us based on the environments that we're bowling in, whether it's league or tournaments. A lot of the stronger slower balls aren't that usable in a league environment for people with medium rev rates and above. And now we've got something that is going to be looking good in those environments as well that won't be too strong, but that isn't trying to really just get in and wheel a, a pearl ball uh, right out of the gate in those environments. Once again, I got a lot of people that I have to thank. I'm really happy to be back doing these videos. I'm trying to crank them out and get caught up a little bit here. As usual, obviously, Storm and Roto Grip best balls on the market, and I want to thank them for giving me the opportunity to be a part of their team and throw those bowling balls and make these videos for you guys. Brad Angelo Lanes for giving me a place to both 
practice and work on my equipment and film these videos. Bull you for teaching me a lot of the things that we talk about here. If you're looking for anything involving camps, uh, you can contact Bull you at bullu.com or on Facebook, or you can talk to me or Brad Angelo about it anytime. Tim Friends, friendsphotography.com, that's two Fs, uh, doing all of the video and photography work for me when I make these videos. It's not possible to make them look as good as they do without him. And lastly, Jim DeWitt, soundcloud.com slash Jim DeWitt for his music. His band is called Vacation Days, D-A-Z-E. Hope you guys like this. Tried to be a little more concise in this one. Really get down to the nitty gritty. If you have any questions, comments, uh, leave them on the YouTube page or find me on Facebook. I will gladly answer as many people as I can. I try to get in there when I can. And hopefully you guys enjoy. See you next time.